Is earning passive income through an automated business really as easy as it sounds? In this video, I'm gonna be talking about a misconception that I unfortunately see a lot, both in business and in marketing. And that's the concept of the automated business. Now, this is a belief that's become increasingly popular in the industry. You've probably seen people talking about it before, building an automated business that completely runs in the background. In this video, I wanna do my best to explain what an automated business is and why it may not be all that it seems to be. I also wanna give you some advice, really specifically advice to up and coming entrepreneurs who are looking to build their own business, what it looks like to build an automated business and start chasing that and what you should do potentially instead. But let's start off by diving into what is the automated business myth. The automated business myth at its core is essentially a siren song for budding entrepreneurs. One that really beckons you to the allure of effortless success. The idea that you can have an automated business that runs completely on autopilot, requires none of your work, none of your effort, and essentially all just runs in the background while you collect profits just going into your account day after day. Now, even though this lucrative promise is very cliche, I can't help but feel I see it everywhere, especially here on YouTube. And I've seen a lot of entrepreneurs misled by this mindset. Because here's the thing, there's a lot of truth to automating elements of a business. There's also incredible freedom that comes from having a business where you have people working for you, whether it be automation, VAs, or team members. However, there's a lot of people these days chasing after pure, full automated business with no effort required. And I think that that's really setting a lot of people up for failure, or at least to potentially be taken advantage of. Now, it sounds truly magical, right? A business that's self-sustaining, requires no effort, no attention, but the idea overlooks numerous challenges, efforts, and ongoing nurturing that any real business demands. And the problem is what, what I have seen is people being sold on the idea that a business is not going to actually require work. But in nature, the business does need some form of work and some form of management from you or by other people in order to actually run and in order to actually succeed. And so there's an oversimplification that's going on with this dream of fully passive income. Now, I'll be honest, right? The allure of generating passive income from an automated business, undeniable. And an automated business really promises the ability to be able to create a life where you aren't chained to the typical nine to five grind. You also really get to be in control of all of your time. A lot of those things actually are possible, but it doesn't come from completely automating your business. Here's the problem with the way that passive income is created these days, the vision that these automated businesses sell, is they essentially sell a story that you don't have to do anything and you just collect checks and just collect money. A lot of people talk about an automated YouTube channel. You hire VAs, they create content. But here's the thing, there's going to need to be somebody to overall manage the business. There's gonna to need to be people that work at each step along the way, or at least AI softwares, at least people to push the button on that software. And even if you automate all the elements of a YouTube channel business, you don't necessarily have the automation of overseeing that business because there's a lot of people looking to do very similar things. There's more and more competition. Now there is opportunity to build a faceless channel that doesn't require you to be on camera where you can hire virtual uh, assistants or you can hire uh, voice actors or you can even use AI. It doesn't necessarily mean that you won't be involved in some way. What does it take to set it up? What does it take to find the VAs? What does it take to put all these pieces together and then actually ensure the success long-term as algorithms change, as things change? Here's one of the best parts about entrepreneurship. The more you grow, the more you dive in, the more that you actually learn, follow your passion, have persistence, and continuous effort, all of that is incredibly rewarding, just as it is demanding, right? It requires you to put in that effort and work, but then you are gaining skills that other people don't necessarily have, and that is your competitive advantage. And so if you know how to build a successful YouTube channel or Amazon store or Shopify store or whatever it happens to be, and that's something you can replicate and train to a VA or have an AI automate the process, then you actually have that skill and that knowledge that you can use to automate portions of your business, to reduce your workload, to turn it into a multi-hour work week if you'd so choose, and actually have that run in the background. The truth is that a lot of these successful automated businesses 
actually require a lot of work. Just because you hire the virtual assistants, the different people, you use the different AI softwares, doesn't guarantee that you're actually gonna be able to see the revenue and profits that you're looking for. Now, sometimes there are companies that go in and they say, hey, we're gonna do that all for you. It's gonna be done for you and managed. Sometimes those can work pretty well, Sometimes they don't work as well, but either way, somebody is putting in the work to manage them. And if you hire one of those companies, oftentimes they're taking a lot of the profits or a lot of the revenue off the table and you're potentially putting up the risk when they have a little bit less risk in the equation. It's either time or money that you're paying with you're going to have to end up paying with one or the other and usually both. And then over time, if you don't have direct involvement in an automated business, naturally things decay, things change, things evolve, and they're gonna to need to be fixed and they're gonna to need to be optimized and they're gonna to need to be actually created in such a way that creates longevity. In order for a business to succeed, it does need care and nurturing and it needs somebody to actually oversee the overall business itself. And if that's going to be you, then you need to make sure that you're actually putting in the pieces along the way. Now, there's a reason that Tim Ferriss in his four hour workweek book talks about it being a four hour workweek. Now, is a four hour workweek possible? Yes. And I can tell you, I built a business around a four hour workweek uh, my original YouTube channel business, AppFind, reviews mobile apps, tech tutorials, YouTube channel that I scaled. And I currently manage actually in about one to two hours per week. And that YouTube channel creates a strong amount of revenue and profit every single month, but it does still require time from me and effort from a lot of people on that team. And what I can tell you is the more I pulled myself fully out of it, the less direct leverage I had on its ability to grow because some of that was coming from the different ideas and management and leadership that I had on that business. That said, working several hours a week and working no time at all are two very different things. And it can also take a lot of time to get to that spot where you can actually only work a few hours a week. If you look at the automated business myth, really you need to make sure that you are actually going in and making sure that the business is running the right way. You wanna make sure that you actually have your hands on the business, otherwise nobody's really gonna be paying attention and you're not owed a profit from a business that just runs in the background. And so even though that might work for a season, it might work for a period of time, fully automated businesses with no time or effort required typically end to fail in the long run. It's the same thing that happened in the world of crypto is happening right now in the world of AI. There are people that are building now for the long term, and there are people that are coming in and looking to try and quickly go and do something, but they're not gonna necessarily last long term. What you wanna do is you wanna set yourself up for the best success long term. And so what we wanna do is we wanna encourage you to go and figure out how to actually build a long-term sustainable business even if that does highly leverage your time. And having that freedom that you want, where you could live anywhere, work anywhere, be free from the nine to five, all of that is possible. But saying that you don't wanna put in any work and also potentially avoiding putting in the capital necessary to go and build a business like that and hire people, that is where you're potentially setting yourself up for failure. And that's where I wanna really make sure that I give clear advice to any aspiring entrepreneurs. And so I've done my best in this video to really talk about navigating the entrepreneurial world because it can both be exhilarating and challenging. Ultimately, I think it's really important that when you go into any venture, you dive in, you do due diligence, you understand what does it take to have this succeed? What are all the steps along the way? What can I automate with AI? And what am I gonna need to oversee? That way you're not walking blindly into unforeseen challenges and you're not refusing to lift a finger. You're saying, I'm gonna do what it takes to see this business through and actually see success. So ultimately, it's the process that's the real magic. That's where the transformation can occur and continuously learning, especially in a rapidly evolving world, uh, resting on current knowledge is a surefire way to get behind. There's lots of tools, lots of methods that you can use to automate your business, but there is no magic wand. There's no button you can push to fully build an automated business that just turns out profits on autopilot. And if there was, then everybody would be pressing that button. That being said, diving into a business from day one without any knowledge, without any expertise, without a lot of capital, that is setting yourself up for failure and at least failure long-term. So if you're an entrepreneur, you're considering diving in on this journey, then I want you to comment down below, what are you building? And what are you willing to put in to build what you're looking for? So if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and I'll see you in the next video.